my god, Far Cry 1. Just even saying the name gives me some sort of aneurysm. This game haunted my nightmares for a whole, I believe, month, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get the good out of the way so I can ass blast this game because it is... Holy shit, I've been putting this review off for so long. I keep notes on some of the videos that I make, like, uh, for my reviews in specific. I usually keep some sort of note system with them. You can see my sanity devolving throughout this paper. I start with saying that there's no ADS, which is a thing that was very present in a lot of these old games. So not that much of a slight, but just a little bit. And then you got close range guns, uh, which kind of pissed me off at the beginning. And then later you can see that I say bad guns. And then even after that you can see that I say g enemies aren't fun, guns aren't fun, bosses aren't fun. So, <laughs> you know, it kind of, this this game hurt my soul more than it hurt. You know, it hurt my mind and my soul the most and it didn't hurt my body at all. Um Remembering back to the actual gameplay, all I can remember is the final couple stages that I ended up spending the majority of the time that I was playing the game on. As soon as you felt like you defeated some sort of crazy final boss sort of thing, you would keep going and then there would be something even harder. For instance, there's these retarded invisible guys that run around, and I'm, I'm not talking about Halo invisible, I'm talking about full on, like, you cannot see them unless you have some sort of night vision turned on, which fucks with your vision really bad. So basically, you turn it, you turn the night vision on, and then you turn it off and try to shoot them, and it's it doesn't work. It just does not work, and it ruined that segment segment of the game completely. Because basically, you have to die to the guys. Oh, there's invisible guys there. Okay, well let me turn on my night vision for this small segment, and then turn it back off so I can kill them, and then. You just keep doing that over and over again, it was so annoying. Um, so let's just get a few of the good things. I'm trying to get some of the good things out, but it's really hard not to go on rants of just, hey, this game sucks. Alright, so you can lean in this game. Like, why the fuck did they take that out of the series? Out of all of the things that they could have taken out of this game, why did they take leaning out? Um, se sensitivity, it just... It's a little bit dumb in the game. You can't really do things very well. Like if you you have to really lower your DPI if you want to actually play the game properly, or at least at my sensitivity, which is relatively high compared to the people I know. Um, the voice acting is a little stupid, which honestly I kind of like because it's funny but uh, I can see why you wouldn't like that. The experiment guys, I think they were supposed to be scary, they're kinda just stupid and wacky. I played this game on challenging mode and they kinda seemed a little weak and stupid. But let me tell you about one of the bosses in the game. Uh, he basically has like eight henchmen, which on challenging difficulty is not easy to kill eight people, uh, just period, because they can like, insta-kill you pretty much, and on top of that you keep your health from previous engagements, so I think I had like somewhere, somewhere between like 50 health and 100 health, which is like the maximum. So I didn't have like full health, but I had a lot compared to what other people might have, and I still got killed like 100 times by just his henchmen. And then I got like a few attempts at the actual boss, and the boss is impossible to kill. He is just so, so beefy and so like good that he just, cause he can leap across the map, he can turn invisible, he can do tons of shit. Where you basically are like, hey, how, how what am I gonna do about this? Well, like, like I used all my ammo one time. I literally ran out of ammo and had to start like stabbing him and he was still not dead. And then, out of the blue, I got really, really pissed off with my friend in the call, and, like, I was, like, so mad. I, I got really pissed off because I was, like, I just ran out of ammo in one of my guns, right? And that was the most damaging gun I had that I ran out of ammo, so I was really pissed because it took me forever to get to that moment where I even had a chance at him. And it said I had barely done any damage to him. Like, it didn't look like I hit him that much. But the thing is, is... I just walked right the fuck up to him and shot him a hundred times with, uh, I think, the jackhammer or a different gun in the game, 
and he's dead and he's dead and I'm like what the fuck dude I spent like hours and hours doing strategies and sitting behind things and making sure he doesn't kill me and then I walk right up to him and glitch out his AI and then he fucking dies the thing is is like I saw somebody complaining about this in the in the um, guides and stuff where they were telling us how to fix the AI because apparently the AI is like real fucking stupid sometimes but other times it can just shoot you directly through walls in the head and you're just done and it's just like what do you do exactly the game is just balanced sh so shittily i swear like there's one of these patch things and someone's like you can patch the game and stuff like that and it's like it's not a necessary patch so i can't literally like i it's not like something i can just do and give give it the benefit of the doubt and be like, oh yeah, everybody who buys this game is going to put the patch on it. No, people are going to buy it because they've played the other Far Cry games, and they want to play the first Far Cry game that came out, and I get that. I did it with CSGO and CS 1.6 and CS Source, but the thing is, is it doesn't work because this game is just so shittily built, and the thing is, is you don't like, you don't think of installing a mod to make the game work. Right? That's not some- that's not the first thing you think of. You know, like, Morrowind, at least the game is so fucking broken when you load it up in the first th shot, that you think that, okay, yeah, I want to patch the game and make it actually work. But this game just works just enough to make it to where, oh yeah, you can totally do it. And then later on in the game, you're like, what the fuck? It's- it's just- it just sucks ass. I'm telling you right now, it just sucks. And I'm sure there's tons of people who are complaining like, Oh yeah, you're like uh, that one game reviewer where they died a hundred times on Cuphead and then just gave up in the tutorial. And the thing is, is no I'm not. This is stupid. Like, you play the game on challenging difficulty. Challenging difficulty is not the hardest difficulty game. Play the game as it is released on Steam with no patch. And then tell me that, that I'm, I'm being ridiculous here. Because the thing is, is getting past the boat mission, which is the first goddamn mission in the game, is difficult. It's not impossible, but it's just way more difficult than I would have expected it to be on a difficulty level that's not the hardest in the game. So I, I don't even know what it looks like to play the hardest difficulty in the game, because it's just... It's just so painful to play it on challenging, which isn't even the highest. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. This game isn't even a fucking open world. Like, what? Why? Why the hell is it not open world? It And it's not like the old games couldn't support it or something. This was, I think this was made after Crisis 1 and 2. This game has a big enough world to be open world. If you just decide not to do the mission that you spawn in and walk like a thousand meters to the right, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, but there's no missions. The entire game just like does not actually matter. Like everything's there, it just doesn't do anything. So why why in 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 anybody's mind would they decide, oh yeah, let's just have an open world, but everything is blank except the mission because why the fuck not? And it's like, what is wrong with you guys? What is the point of making such a massive world if there's no way to go from mission to mission? You're just chilling in the middle of nowhere. It's so stupid. <laughs> like, I, my, I can't even fathom this, this, this decision. They make an open world, but then they don't make it to where you can go between levels in the open world. So it's just a linear level, like, arrangement where you go from level 1 to level 2, level 3, and there's nothing you can do about it, but you're also in a massive island that you can walk freely on at any given moment as long as it's an option available. And that's just, like, that just blows my mind about how stupid that is. Like, what? When I was playing it, at least, it, this seems like one of those games where you just kind of run at them as much as you can and then eventually you'll hit the next save point and then you can die as much as you want and then you just keep like going save point to save point throughout the entire game i did that with modern warfare 1 a little bit but it's especially with this game it feels like you're running from save point to save point 
just trying not to die, but you're still gonna die a hundred times anyways. Just, just like sending bodies out there just to get to the fucking next checkpoint. Which, I mean, a lot of these old games kind of feel like that, and I don't really think that that should be a thing that old games should, like, wear on their sleeve. It's it's not a not a good thing with, with these games where you're just like, hey, yeah, let's just shock my balls with a car battery, I guess. It's like, you're just running there and there's nothing you can fucking do. It's so stupid. So what's my rating for Far Cry 1 challenging difficulty? 2, you can fight me. Alright, that this game sucks so much, and I'm tired of giving things sixes. I just realized that I've done three reviews and all of them have been sixes. I mean one of them was a 6.5, but does that really matter? So this is a two. This is my like hey, fuck you, okay? If you find a worse game than this, if you find a game that seems to be balanced po more poorly, works less, because I mean, the game had like weird fucking issues the entire time. Um, has a, a worse control scheme. If you can find anything like that, then, I mean, and then put it all together into one game that's worse than this, I'll give it a one, but I don't see that happening. So that's why I gave it a two, you know? Because that's just kind of the, the lowest I'll go. And with a patch, it might be better. And the thing is, is that's really why I gave it a two, is because it might be better with a patch. With some sort of patch to make the game better. And the thing is, is like, yeah, maybe, but like, uh, you know? Really? Like, you, you're really gonna base the game's worth off of like, hey, if you go to this website on the dark web and then download like I mean I know it's not that complicated but just you get the point it's just stupid that you have to do that and just don't even I don't even think that that's a improper way of looking at things all right well before this video drags on too long I'm gonna end it so see you guys so I'm very sad that I had to record that and I will never be playing this game again the weapon sway is obnoxious at best, and really stupid. And also, that was the first fucking mission in the game, and on top of that, that was also the difficulty in between the easiest difficulty and the hardest difficulty, so it's the real medium of the game.